UNLV football team beat cross-state rival Reno over the weekend. And with that big win comes the Fremont Cannon. And Chris Matthews is here with more on today's uh, painting project. Yeah, and it wasn't spray paint. They, no. they got out the real stuff here. The painting project, of course, followed a parade on campus. And one more thing we already know, everybody loves a parade. And UNLV's favorite color is red. For only the second time in nearly a decade, UNLV held a parade on campus. The football team beat Reno last Saturday and today walked the Fremont Cannon to the campus plaza, celebrated, and then pulled out their paintbrushes. Yeah, I gave it a little, you know, swipe, 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 and I did a little good job. <laughs> we don't have any artists on the team. We, <laughs> we definitely still see some blue on that cannon. We got to get that taken off. Beating Reno, painting the cannon red, and celebrating is nice, but the weekend win means much more. Just everybody smiling, you know, that's, that's the thing. We having fun out here. You know, I think we've been missing that, you know, just having fun playing football and enjoying the great community that we live in and play in. So just a great feeling. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, we got everybody involved, the student body, the staff, all the t teammates, the different sports as well. Everybody's kind of buying into this and everybody's just having fun. The band playing, energy going. Uh, hopefully we get to or this team gets experiences for many years to come. The party lasted about 40 minutes. Students then headed back to class, and Tony Sanchez revealed who's starting a quarterback Saturday at home against San Jose State. We're going with Kurt, though, regardless. He's our starting quarterback this week. Kurt Palandek will start this week no matter what. Blake Decker won't play unless necessary, but he was on hand to throw down a few strokes of red. After all, everyone loves a parade. And when you got that cannon and you're rolling it through campus and you see all the excitement right now and the band's playing, the cheerleaders are out and all you guys are here, that's an exciting day because I'm sure there's a lot of uh, Mondays after the Reno game you guys haven't shown up to campus. <laughs> All right, all that hard work in Reno paying off for a few Rebels. Arborview grad and punter Logan Yunker was named Mountain West Special Teams Player of the Week. He averaged 43 punts, uh, a punt, and inside the four, well, or inside the uh, four ten times, and linebacker Ryan McElneen was named Defensive Player of the Week. He came up with a huge interception against the Wolfpack to really save the day. <laughs> Great momentum yes. for that. Thanks, Chris. We'll see you again at six.